Well, it's so, so, so important for us to do that. And also, not just committing to your goals, like I said, you have to commit to your team's goals. You need to help them because the more you help them, the more you're going to help yourself and grow this business and be proof. Okay, next slide. So this is a fun little slide, and I asked John if I could share this with you, um, of what I've been doing, because guys, I was a district manager for about three and a half years, and then I quickly committed, committed to my daily activity, committing to put it out to my team, all those things I just said, to declare that I wanted to grow more. I committed, I used to do laundry first, and clean the house, and cook, and if there was time, then I did Arbonne. But I said, I need to commit to doing these things and having a plan, an action plan of what I wanted to do, and work consistently. And I went from district to region in five months, and then a nation a year later, and then promoted a nation within that year, because of an action plan. And I like to share with my team that when I went to France last, a few weeks ago, our one just didn't say, meet everybody at France, here you go, right? There was a plan to get us there, to get our tickets, to get us the trips, to get the everything, every little step. So do you have a plan? Are you just hoping that you're gonna become a national vice president? Or have you recapped step-by-step action plan? And 92% of people who set goals give up. So you need to decide right now, committing, that you are not giving up on this goal. That's the first step, you cannot give up. You need to create that plan, but then manage your time. And I think in the summer, this is the hardest part is that we don't learn how to manage our time. Time is the greatest equalizer. No one has more time than the other, right? We all have the same 24 hours, but most of us don't use that time effectively. I fit Arbor in the nooks and crannies all the time. So sometimes, every month, I'm like, where do I focus my time? So we have our daily success chart that we know what to do personally, but this helps me figure out in my team where I need to work and focus. I help everybody, but this helps me. Guys, this is my personal organizational chart, and it's on a board, so I just wrote it on paper so you guys can see, and I have it up in my office. But what I do is, obviously, I am trying to fill in, and I have the names. I have my consultant, I have four. I always want to have four people direct to me, four districts direct to me, four areas, four RVPs, and I'm working on four MVPs direct to me. And on the side, you can see I have other people, but I only put people that really want to work in there, okay? And I always have a new spot for a new person to be adding in as a consultant every single month. That's what I focus on. And then you can see the arrows are the people that have committed that I'm working and planning to help promote to that next level. And it's not 20 people, but I, there's more people that I want to, but there's one that I truly having so much time and effort to help get to district. And I have a district that we planned out how to get to area. She has a districts and below, you can see above some of these names, these are people that have already made a district. So one of my districts has made a district. Well, two of my areas have made areas, they're executive areas, so I write their areas above. You can see that one of my MVPs has three regions, um, and I have Megan who's already in call right now, so I put that. So I'm trying to fill, I can see right now, I need one more region, and I need three more nations. That's where my focus is. That's where I know I need to put my time. So I hope that this kind of can really help you guys. Once you free your mind, the rest will follow. Once you've committed to something, there's no more choice. So don't keep going back and forth. Let that go. Free your mind that you're ready. You can go MVP. You committed to this. Set up your organizational chart, and I know that you all will be MVPs by the end of this year if you truly 